Stacy Murphy here. I love growing food. I love everything about it, except there's one thing that really trips me up, literally, and that is lugging around hoses. And maybe you can relate. I hate how they get stuck on things when you're dragging them across the ground. I hate how they kink. I hate coiling them back up when I'm done with them. And I hate when I accidentally drag them over the top of my planting beds and damage my vegetable plants. So I try to spend as little time as possible watering and uh, as little time with hoses as possible. And I wanted to share something with you today that really brings immense joy and relief into my life when it comes to dealing with hoses. And while I'm gonna show you this at, uh, in a greenhouse setting, you could really apply this to any outdoor garden space. So at the youth farm in Brooklyn, we built a greenhouse years back, and as part of that construction, we installed what people call an overhead hose trolley. So with a greenhouse, you are growing indoors essentially. You have a, you know, you have a shelter. And so there's no water that those plants are receiving through rain. And so you have to bring water to those plants in some way. You have to manually irrigate. So the other thing about a greenhouse is that it's usually pretty cramped. And so if you are moving around with a hose in a small space, you're gonna tangle yourself up. It's not very fun. So this overhead hose trolley is pretty ingenious. It's, it's a way to ensure that you're not dragging it around and getting it caught on things in that small space. You're not tripping over it. And what's really cool is that because it's overhead, the gravity of the hose, uh, you're not holding the, that gravity. So that weight is literally not on your shoulders and you can just freely move around with this hose. So that's why it's really cool. And so it's, it's simple to put together, it's really ingenious, and you may have seen this before. So here's essentially how it works. It basically hangs from the ceiling, and you simply string up some cable between two ends in a straight line, and then you wanna thread on some stainless steel pulleys. You wanna make sure they're stainless steel so that they don't rust. And then you're going to attach the hose with some hose supports. And when you move it, you're just gonna simply tug gently on it and it's gonna move effortlessly. It's amazing. So as you walk, the hose follows you around. And here's just a couple pointers for the system. You wanna protect that hose at all costs. Plastic things, they, they kink, right? The hoses kink. And so you don't want to have that point of pressure all at one spot on that pulley or that hose will kink and you won't have water flowing through it. And when you have a kink over time, what happens is you get a stress fracture in the hose and the hose will eventually not work any longer. So you want to avoid that. So what you can do is you can find these pulleys at greenhouse suppliers where they have uh, the special hose support built in. Or if you're, you're a do-it-yourself kind of person, what you can do is you can take anything that is fairly rigid but still a little soft and somewhat arched. And so it could be an old hose that you cut and uh, slice in half, or it could be some sort of rubber tire that you cut in half. And you use that as a hose support to make a nice arch for that hose so that it doesn't kink up and you don't provide stress on that one point. Also, you want to make sure that the cable stays taut. So you want to check it from time to time, make sure it's not sagging, and you're going to retighten it if necessary over time, because it, it happens over time that the weight of the hose will loosen that line. You'll have a little bit of slack and you want to retighten it. So that's why you want to use a turnbuckle at the end so you can keep retightening if necessary. And then you want to tie those ends to something very secure. I, I shouldn't have to say this, but I'm gonna say it. So, you know, this hose, it's heavy. Uh, so you wanna make sure you tie it to something strong that's not going anywhere. So you might tie it up to an old oak tree or to a building, things that aren't moving. You don't wanna tie this up to a sapling or to a bush, something that's really moving around. And you wanna think about the weight of the hose and the wand that you're gonna put on this thing. And that's what you need to support with this line in between these two objects. So these two objects have to hold that amount of weight. And a question that I get a lot is, how big can this system really go? So uh, I don't think that 
You could go beyond 20 feet wide. You know, if you have the cable running down the middle of an area, you might be able to go 10 feet on either side with the watering, with the wand to water. But anything bigger than that, and it's it, you're going to be stretching the hose and it's going to be inefficient and it's not going to work very well. So I would say a system that's 20 feet wide would work really well. And then in terms of length, you can go as far, as long as you want. You can go hundreds of feet if you like. You just have to have a hose long enough, right, to reach those areas. So this greenhouse is about 50 feet by maybe 20 feet, and there's not a single corner in the greenhouse that's difficult to water. And one last benefit of a hanging overhead hose trolley system is that the wand doesn't uh, drag across the ground, and so it's cleaner, and it doesn't get clogged. And then also you're reducing the chance of spreading plant diseases from that wand always touching the ground. So. Well, your first goal should always be to eliminate as much as possible any manual irrigation. I just don't have time to go into all the ways in which you can do that in this video. If you do have a small plot and you're working with hoses, this is a really simple, elegant solution that's very inexpensive that will solve a lot of the problems that you have with your hoses. And I don't have time in this video to go into all the different parts of that system, but there are kits available in greenhouse supply stores. And if you're a do-it-yourself kind of person, you probably can watch this and put this together and even go onto some of those websites with those kits and do a little bit of reverse engineering. It's really just a couple parts that you need. And uh, you know you could look at the specs and see exactly what they're using in those kits. So there you have it. It is a simple gadget for less, usually less than $100 that will keep your hose from kinking and tangling and allow you to water while you walk without carrying the weight of the hose on your shoulders. And you're also not worrying that the hose is going to damage your plants. So get the water where you want it, fast and easy. That's the goal, that's what this does. Here's your next big tip. Check out the GardenHackSummit.com. We've got 13 visionary gardeners from around the world who are sharing their best tips, tricks, uh, mindset shifts, and strategies to help you put more homegrown food on your table with a lot less work. We have, I think, over 200 uh, years of experience gardening that we're going to download to you. And that is a fabulous hack right there is to inherit the wisdom of those that have done this before you so that you can short circuit all that learning and just make everything a whole lot easier in your garden. All right. We'd love to see you there. Register at gardenhacksummit.com.